This is Inside Troy Athletics, a look at what's going on and what's coming up for Troy University's Trojans. Now, here's your host for Inside Troy Athletics, Jonathan Sellers. Hello and welcome to Inside Troy Athletics. I'm your host, Jonathan Sellers, and I'm joined today by the Director of Athletics for Troy University, and that's Jeremy McLean. And uh, Jeremy, the last time we talked was a couple of weeks ago as the basketball teams were heading into the Sunbelt Tournament. Both teams uh, played well that first game, but then uh, Troy men ran into a buzzsaw in Georgia yeah. State that went on to the NCAA Tournament. The women uh, again ran into Arkansas Little Rock, another tough team. So solid seasons for both teams, and uh, I know always looking forward to next year. Yeah, no doubt. Um, like you said, it's uh, sometimes when it comes to tournament time, it's about the path. Right. And, and we played uh, two really good teams. Uh, the men uh, on the men's side, Georgia State, uh, played lights out in the tournament. They shot the ball incredibly well. And, and, and as a matter of fact, I don't think any of their games were uh, even single-digit wins. They were yeah. they uh, really whipped everybody they played, uh, for lack of a better term. And, and so sometimes it happens that way. But our, our men, I thought, um, played hard, uh, played pretty well the first game, and, and uh, just couldn't get it going against Georgia State. But, um, uh, you know, happy with the year we had there, excited about what the future holds. We, we do have a few seniors on that team, but um, a lot of key players coming back and a great nucleus uh, to continue to build on. And mm -hmm. then on the women's side, Little Rock, is, who's had only lost one conference game all year to us right. uh, here in Trojan Arena, um, you know, played – it was a great game. It ended up being a three-point loss for us. But um, – Played them really tough and, and uh, you know, a young team. And I kept looking out on the floor and, and, and counting the freshmen and sophomores yeah. out on the floor. And, and um, you know, we started two freshmen, two sophomores, and a junior that day. And so that bodes well for the future. So I'm excited about where uh, those programs are headed. And, uh, you know, we, we obviously want to be competing for championships and be in the mix every year. And, and uh, I think we're headed in the right direction there with our basketball programs. Baseball and softball both in action over the weekend. Uh, baseball was at home. Tough series against Arkansas Little Rock. Good yeah. pitching all weekend long, but bats were, were slow to, to get awaken this weekend. And uh, But they did pick up a, a big midweek game over UAB uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, always good to uh, get the win in state there yeah. against uh, – and UAB's been a team that – Seems like we split with them every year. We've never been able to beat them twice right. in one year, and so this was the second time. Uh, so we did get the series sweep and, and uh, a well-played game there against UAB. Uh, kind of have seen the same thing over the last two weeks. I think you kind of go through um, stretches in a baseball year. It's a long year, 56 games, and, and we're kind of in a stretch right now where we're not uh, scoring as many runs as we're early in the year. And um, so that that – you know, even in the UAB game, we won it and played well, but we didn't swing the bat the way we have been. And uh, and that caught up to us a little bit this weekend mm -hmm. against Arkansas Little Rock. You know, we uh, very well pitched, well played games. I thought we played well defensively. We pitched well. Uh, you know, we had maybe just a couple of innings there where we gave up uh, multiple runs, but um, but we didn't uh, offensively couldn't quite get it going against their pitching staff. And so uh, came up on the short end, but you know, I still. Really like what I'm seeing from our baseball program. I think we got a chance to have a really special year. And if you can pitch and play defense, uh, I think we have enough offense to uh, that, that we'll be fine. And uh, we'll have a big challenge coming up this weekend. That's right. First, uh, I want to talk about Saturday. It was Spit Strong Day mm -hmm. at the ballpark. And for those who may not be aware, you can uh, fill us in on, on that and just what it meant to the, the program. Yeah, uh, a freshman uh, infielder for us, Bobby Spitowski and his family uh, over the break had a car accident, a very severe car accident, uh, traveling home from a vacation over the Christmas break. And uh, uh, they were all banged up and, and injured, but Bobby really um, suffered the worst of that. He had some head trauma and uh, really was uh, really touch and go for him for that, that first week or, or 10 days where anytime you have that type of, of when you have to have brain surgery and, and uh, there's brain bleed, then uh, it's, it's a real sensitive, uh, obviously, um, you know, touch and go situation. But uh, he pulled out of that a month after the accident. He walked out of the hospital under his own power. And uh, so he was back this weekend uh, for the, you know, really for the first time back on campus. And his entire family was here. And it was our opportunity to, to let them know we care about them and that uh, kind of put our arm around them. And, and our baseball staff did a great job of setting that up. And, and then our athletic department, our marketing staff, and, and, and a lot of people within athletics really took the ball and ran with it. It was a great day. Great to see the family out there. We were able to raise some money as well for his medical expenses. So really, just a good weekend, and uh, kind of made, made you know made your heart full and, and to see him and his family out there. Well, and I don't know how much throwing he's been doing recently, but uh, that first pitch that he yeah. threw out and he hadn't missed a beat with that. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's been fun. You know, it's funny you say that. Uh, he threw a strike and and. Uh, 
Hugh's been rehabbing really hard already, and uh, his mom and his family up, continue to uh, post on Facebook um, some of his videos, and he's working out daily with, uh, with trainers and, and trying to con get his movement and his mobility back and his dexterity, and uh, he's made great progress and really excited for him, and I, I think... Um, you know, I think the baseball field gives him a goal and, and uh, something to work towards. So we're excited about that. And, uh, but again, it's really just an opportunity for us to put our arm around him and say, hey, we love you guys and we're going to be here for you. And, and, uh, and, and I think they really appreciated that. Hey, you mentioned a tough test this weekend. They will travel to Louisiana Lafayette to face the, the Raging Cage. It's always a tough team in the Sun Belt. Uh, haven't started how they wanted to, as well as South Alabama. Both teams not as well as the projections for them, but yeah. always going to be a tough team, especially in Lafayette. Yeah, uh, started with a tough schedule. You right. know, they, they go and play some really tough opponents early on and, and uh, came up on the short end several of those games. So they haven't started the way they wanted to and actually lost the opening series as well this weekend. I think the conference is going to be – there's going to be a ton of parity – uh, and in college baseball, there normally is, but I think in our conference, there's several really, really good teams. And Lafayette's going to be one of them. Mm -hmm. I think they'll be fine. They're, they're still trying to figure out, I think, offensively. They've, they've lost a pitcher or two to injury uh, and then still trying to figure it out offensively. So they'll be fine. Uh, anytime you go over to Lafayette to play, it's a tough, tough challenge. Right. They love their baseball and they'll have great crowds and they'll be intense. And, and uh, uh, we'll have to pitch well again and, and uh, hopefully um, you know, find our offense. Uh, somewhere between here and Lafayette. <laughs> and I know softball had a good weekend. They went over to Hattiesburg initially on Thursday. Uh, they split there and then won two of three against Louisiana Monroe. So a, a solid week for them. Yeah, really, anytime you go on the road, win a conference series, that's a, that's a good weekend. But to go to Hattiesburg and, and Southern Miss, is, uh, they, they've had a really good program, and, and uh, they're really talented. Almost got the sweep there, lost, right. lost a close one in that second game of the doubleheader. But, uh, you know, to go on the road and, and, and win three out of five against really, you know, good competition, uh, it's, a, it's a positive step and should give our team a lot of momentum and confidence coming back home um, to uh, continue conference play. And, and they'll be facing Louisiana Lafayette, but right. as you said, they'll get the benefit of doing that at home. And again, Lafayette on the women's side, strong. Uh, they've been to the College World Series before, just a, a perennial contender. Always. Yeah, all, always, always a really, really tough team. And they're going through, through some changes from a coaching staff perspective, but Really, really talented, and uh, you know, are, a, are like you said, year in year out national power, mm -hmm. and um, so we'll have our hands full with them. We'll have to. We've pitched really well. Uh, our pitching staff has done an excellent job, and so we'll have to continue to do that against them and try to limit uh, what they do offensively. And, and uh, but it'll be, it'll be a tough weekend, but a great challenge for our team. And I know uh, golf, both golf programs in action right mm -hmm. now. How is that going for them? Yeah, it's going well. You know, we, we've got young rosters on both sides, and so we kind of knew this year would. Uh, would be a little bit of a slow start, and it has been, but uh, we've shown some really solid glimpses of what can be. I think uh, right now when you have a young roster, it's about putting putting three rounds together, right. and uh, that's kind of, I think, where we've missed a little bit. But the men have really uh, started to make progress and in a matter of competing right now, as a matter of fact, and their last few rounds have been really solid. So they're starting to make strides. And on the women's side, uh, same thing. They, they've put together some really good rounds and they get some good competition. Uh, so we're excited about where we're headed. It's just a matter of, you know, trying to kind of peak at the right time as we enter conference play and, and continue to get better. I know track and field was in action over the weekend. How did they do? Yeah, they competed really well, um, you know, as we uh, really opened our outdoor uh, part of the season. We had a lot of personal best and, and uh, won several meets, as a matter of fact, and, and uh, scored a lot of points this weekend. So excited about that. We've, we really, I think, have gained a lot of confidence within our track program. We're starting to see... Uh, what we knew was going to happen uh, with a lot of young talent kind of start to come to fruition. They're starting to mature and, and starting to win some events uh, against some good competition. Now, I know uh, March 20th, the Tuesday of this week, is the start of spring football. And I know a lot of yeah. people are excited about that. I know uh, still a lot of buzz around the football program. So what can we look forward to out there? Yeah, I think uh, probably nobody more excited than our players. Yeah. They're, they're tired of conditioning. Yeah. They want to get out and, and compete. Um, but, you know, I think it's going to be uh, what you'll see is, is – is, uh, you know, a team that's going to try to stay hungry, and Coach Brown's kind of really been focused on making sure that, um, you know, they, they treat spring as an opportunity to continue to get better. We'll have some new faces, obviously. Uh, running back being a key position, I mean, excuse me, quarterback and running back, yeah. but quarterback being a key position there with uh, losing Brandon, obviously, who's been here starter for four years. And um, so we'll see some competition out there, and, and uh, should be a lot of fun to see them compete. Uh, and that'll run uh, right until in April 21st when uh, that's T-Day will be our last practice. And uh, so excited about this next month and watching those guys compete. 
So home games this weekend. We got Tuesday baseball, and they will face uh, Sanford, right. and that will be at six o'clock. And then softball will be this weekend, and that'll be Saturday and Sunday. Correct. So, uh, Doubleheader on Saturday, one game on Sunday. So plenty of opportunities for people to come out and enjoy uh, enjoy some Troy athletics. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right. Stay tuned for more coming up on Inside Troy Athletics. We're back here on Inside Troy Athletics with the head coach of the baseball team, and that's Coach Mark Smart and. Coach, I know uh, not the weekend you were looking for out of your team. Lost two out of three opening Sun Belt Conference play against Arkansas Little Rock. Uh, what, what happened to your team this weekend? Well, I think two things. One, I thought Little Rock played well. Uh, they, they certainly pitched well and uh, did not make a lot of mistakes, Jonathan. And, and we're not swinging the bat well enough right now to create offense ourselves. Right. We kind of need a little help. They didn't walk as much, they didn't make errors, they didn't create run opportunities for us, and we just didn't get enough hits. So that, that was the first part. And then secondly, I, I felt like our team, we pitched great, mm -hmm. we defended great Saturday and Sunday, but on Friday, I thought the, the Friday night process, we didn't play very well. We just didn't play a good game. Right. And uh, when you lose game one, there's instant pressure, and we responded well on Saturday, but I wasn't didn't really like our response on Sunday. So I think all in all, I think we got outplayed. I think we got outcoached. Um, and our job now is to learn from that and improve, get ready for our next opportunity. But uh, we're still a good ball club. Right. The way we're pitching, hey, we scored eight runs in four games last week and went two and two. So okay. you got to look at that as a positive. Right. We're not scoring. We only gave up seven runs. So – uh, if we can find a way to get our offense going, I think we're going to have a really good ball club. Well, you got a chance starting Tuesday night. You take on Sanford, and that'll be here at home. Um, another in-state game, which has always been good for you. Already won two against UAB and uh, another chance at Sanford. Well, we, we beat them early in the year at Sanford, which right. is historically a place that we struggle to win, Jonathan. We've not had much success at their ballpark in recent years. So I was really proud of that win. We came from behind late to win that game. Actually scored to win that game. <laughs> uh, seems like a month ago now. But uh, now they'll come in and we'll have a chance to sweep that two-game series. And we really try to we, – we talk a lot with our players about being one of the best teams in our state, beating in-state opponents. I think that's important, especially in recruiting, when you're going up against an in-state opponent right. in recruiting, which we do that on occasion. So uh, it's an important game for us. But most, most important is we get a chance to go play again and try to get better. Right. And uh, that's the beauty of baseball. You get a chance to get out there quicker. You don't have to wait a long right. time. And uh, we had a sour taste on Sunday, so we got a chance to make it right Tuesday night. Well, and then it continues this weekend. you got a long road trip. You head to Louisiana, Louisiana Lafayette. Always a tough team, um, a team that in the past Troy has struggled against, especially in, in Lafayette, and, and what are you going to do down there? Well, you know, it's uh, several challenges. First, it's our first conference road trip. Right. Uh, it's only our second series on the road. We went to Florida State early in the year, and this will be our second. So our team, we've not played a lot on the road. We're two and four away from home. Third, it's probably the toughest place in our, in our league to play, certainly, right. because they draw so well and they're so engaged in the game. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of challenges there. But what I will say is uh, the reason we went to Florida State and played in Tallahassee was to be put in that type environment on the road in challenging places so that maybe the next time we do it we'll be more comfortable. Right. The biggest challenge will be if we can be comfortable and execute in that environment, right. which we're going to have to to, to to win that series. Uh, we've not had a lot of success there. Uh, we won't dwell on that very much at all. Um, they've got a terrific Friday night starting pitcher that'll, that'll be a tough challenge for us. But uh, we look forward to the opportunity. And, and quite honestly, uh, Jonathan, it may be good for us to go on the road. Just right. kind of shut everything off, kind of get centered on what we're doing and what we're trying to do to get better. And, you know, a lot of coaches will tell you sometimes it is a little bit better to go on the road. Right. You, you, you can eliminate a few distractions right. and not as many people around you. And so we'll see if it works. And that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Lafayette. And so chance for your team to get out there and, as you said, kind of regroup. and, and, uh, and Well, it's the, it's, it's the next step for us. Uh, one thing we try to impress upon our players, the most important game is the one right in front of you. Mm -hmm. So, to, you know, the Sanford game on Tuesday is the most important game. Right. We don't worry about Friday until Friday gets here. So we'll certainly need to play our best that night, get better. 
have a good work day on Wednesday, get back to some practice, fundamental things. We'll travel Thursday and then get ready to play on Friday. Um, and try to figure some things out that will get our guys in a better place mentality-wise uh, as an offensive team. Uh, I like the pitching matchups we've got. I like our rotation order. Andrew Crane goes Friday. Darren Osby threw terrific on Sunday. Right. Max Newton threw very well yesterday. C.J. Carter was terrific. Our bullpen, Rush Hickson, was great on Sunday. We're getting quality pitching. We're not giving up a bunch of runs. Uh, we just got to find a way to score and take the pressure off that pitching staff. And uh, hopefully this week that will start making improvements on the field. All right, Coach. Well, uh, good luck this weekend, and, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, John. All right, stay tuned for more coming up on Inside Troy Athletics. We're back here for our final segment here on Inside Troy Athletics, and we're talking with Kyle George about some upcoming promotions that you can look forward to out at Troy events. And uh, Kyle, I know baseball we've talked about and softball coming up, and uh, a big one that was a fan favorite last year for baseball that y'all decided to bring back this year is happening on uh, Tuesday. Absolutely. The Student Crawfish Boil, which uh, last year was our first time to do this. is one of our first big promotions to do last year as well. Uh, it was cool last year when the students start showing up two hours for the ball right. game even starts up there. So we're looking forward to a great crowd with that as well too. Again, it's free crawfish boil for all Troy students while supplies last. Uh, first pitch is at 6 o'clock tomorrow night, uh, but 5 o'clock is when the gates will open so students can start lining up beforehand if they'd like to. Uh, just got to show your student ID right. and to get the crawfish. Okay. That's all you have to do is just show up student That's ID. That's all it is. Okay. Show up your student ID, get a chance to watch a free ball game, enjoy some free crawfish. Another thing too is to, uh, also at the uh, baseball game as well for students. Premier Dodge has given us some Yeti coolers and one of those has a chance for a student to win tomorrow night at the baseball game as well too. So students get a chance to win free crawfish as well as a chance to win a free uh, Yeti cooler at tomorrow night's right. uh, baseball game. So lots of opportunities. There also is something uh, called baseball Bingo that you're Correct. Be playing. Correct. Baseball bingo. So what happens is everybody's got a chance to win when it comes to this. As soon as you enter the ballpark, you can pick up a baseball bingo card. It's all based on what takes place during the game. So if there's a Troy home run, uh, if we score a run, if we strike out the side, whatever takes place during the ball game, you have a chance to play along with your bingo card. And obviously, if you get bingo, you get a chance to win a great prize. Yeah. And so a lot to look forward to at the baseball game. They'll be on the road this weekend, but the softball be, team will be at home, and I know there will be some promotions there as well. Right. Baseball goes on the road to Louisiana Lafayette, and we actually bring Louisiana here when it comes to softball. So they'll be hosting uh, Louisiana this Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, doubleheader at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Uh, Sunday at 12 noon. Uh, so a lot of different things taking place for softball. Always a big series anytime Louisiana comes here, right. especially in softball. It's a great program, traditionally a top 25 program, but our team's really been playing well this year for softball. Looking forward to hopefully pick up some very key uh, conference wins at home. Absolutely. Uh, again, free admission for all softball games, so 1 and 3 o'clock, first 100 fans get a uh, one Troy Cup on Saturday, and then Sunday at noon, softball bingo, same thing we had baseball, just at, over at softball as well on Sunday, and all kids get a chance to run the bases after the games. Uh, and that's always fun, and I know that's something y'all done with baseball, so that'll be at softball as well. Correct, a tradition that's going to be at both ballparks this year for both uh, Sunday games. Didn't get a chance to do this past Sunday for baseball just because of the rain, right. unfortunately, uh, but for all Sunday ball games, games, whether it's softball or baseball, kids will get a chance to run the base, bases after the game's over with. All right, and uh, what else do we got coming up? I know football starting last year, y'all had a big uh, promotion for football. Have y'all announced anything with that, or is it just something to look forward well, to? We've always got something going on with football, okay. seems like, obviously. Spring practice actually starting this week, so really excited to get the guys back out there getting ready for the season. Throughout the entire spring practice season, football will have several different promotions where they get a chance to uh, bring out professors, or we'll have folks that are helping out the construction site for the North End Zone. Everybody's seen the North End Zone coming together, too. Right. Really looking forward to opening up that facility here really soon. Um, season tickets are also on sale in the North End Zone seating as well, too. Those tickets are on sale right now. Okay. Uh, speaking of season tickets as well too, if you buy your season tickets before April 27th, you'll receive a replica uh, conference championship ring. So if you buy your season tickets for the first time or if you're renewing your season tickets, either one, as long as you do so by April 27th, you'll receive a replica of the conference championship ring as well. Yeah, I made sure to renew mine. I did that just last <laughs> week, so I'm looking forward to getting that and I'll wear it on air next time. Absolutely, when it comes absolutely. In, so. And people are asking too about how they're going to get that at Fan Day this year as well too. Okay. If you purchase it by April 27th, those rings will be in time for Fan Day where you can pick it up at Fan Day as well. So a great opportunity to 
share some of the history from last year as well, get ready for this upcoming season, but then also come and see us again once again at Fan Day this year as well. Absolutely. Uh, what else do we got coming up for upcoming baseball and softball games? So baseball next week, looking ahead to next Tuesday, we'll take on Alabama State. That'll be 80s night. So we're going to have yeah. 80s songs all night long, not just for the music itself, but also for the walk-up songs. Okay. So we'll throw it all the way back with that part. Well, some, um, some of the baseball players have no idea what they are, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work with them, make sure okay. we pick out some good ones there. This is going to be right up Coach Smart's alley, yes. alley there. You know, that's going to be back when he was playing here rolling back ticket prices of two dollars each as well okay. too for that game as well so a lot of fun things taking place again that'll be tuesday of next week as we take on alabama state and then we have a three-game series against georgia state that'll be thursday friday saturday right. as opposed to friday saturday sunday due to easter holiday there as well uh, so we'll have several different fun promotions one of those being the saturday before easter we'll have an easter egg hunt for all kids and yes we have an easter bunny coming out all there right. as well too i won't tell you who the easter bunny <laughs> is but i got an easter bunny coming out there oh, that'll be great so a lot to look forward to coming up uh, all starting this Tuesday night with the Crawfish Bowl again free to any student as long Absolutely. as they have their student ID. Again free for all students and students receive free admission to all home games right. so look forward to seeing students out there. Uh, this is one that people are excited about. So wait for us to welcome everybody back from spring break. Uh, I know it's been uh, the students out on the road for these past week here or so and uh, our students are really key for our ball games as well too so we're looking forward to seeing them all there. Uh, it's actually my alma mater too is Sanford so okay. I got to throw a little extra at this game okay. here too. All right Kyle well thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, join us again next week for more coming up on Inside Troy Athletics.